Today I want to look at this integral we have. We have got the integral of x squared plus 1 over x to the fourth plus 1 dx. I thought it was interesting. It looks pretty simple. There's not much there, but it's actually going to be a little harder than it looks. So let's get started with this. The thing we notice in the denominator, now if that was a minus sign, this would be great because we'd have a difference of squares. But this is not readily factorable. Now we could complete the square and we could go down the road of doing partial fractions, but I'd like to avoid that. And I think our best bet here is going to be a trick that I've used in a few other videos where we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 1 over x squared and see what, what happens. So just multiplying this out, we're going to transform our integral 1x squared times x squared is 1 plus 1 times this is going to be 1 over x squared. And then we're going to have here, multiplying this in, we're going to have x squared plus 1 over x squared. And now for this piece, there's two good ways to factor this. Let's just look at this. We could write this as x plus 1 over x squared. And then we're going to get a additional 2, and we could just subtract that off. Or we could write this as x minus 1 over x squared. Here we get a minus 2, so we're going to have to add 2. And what I'm trying to do is set up a u substitution where either this piece or this piece is going to be our u. But we notice here, because we're going to have a negative exponent here, when we take the derivative of this, we're going to get a negative, and we need a plus here. So I think this way is going to work better. Okay, so just having rewritten this using our second equation here, we have our integral in this form, and then let's look at our u substitution. So I'm going to make my u equal to x minus 1 over x. And just to be clear, this is the same thing as x minus x to the negative 1. Then I'll take my derivative. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative here is going to be a plus 1 over x squared, or x to the minus 2. We can see that's going to work out perfectly because we have our du right here in the numerator. So we can just make our substitution. We're going to have du over u squared plus 2. But I'm going to write my 2 as square root of 2 squared. And what that's going to allow us is to use this arctan formula that we have over here on the right, where our a value is just going to be square root of 2. So let's just do this. So we're going to have 1 over our a square root of 2 tan inverse our u over square root of 2. Before I do my u substitution, let's just rewrite our u. I'm going to get a common denominator here, so we'll multiply by an x here on top and bottom, and then we're going to have x squared minus 1 over x. So now we'll go back to our, go for our final answer. Oh, and this is a square root of 2 here, sorry about that. So we're going to have 1 over square root of 2, arctan of our x, x squared minus 1 over x, but we're going to have this square root of 2 that we don't want to forget, plus c, and we're done. I didn't actually do it. If you do the partial fractions, let me know. I think that's going to be kind of long, but it would still work. I think just the 1 over x squared helps a little bit. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.